So how do you run a workshop when there's like more than 30 people? Well, at AJ and Smart, we've run workshops up to 150,000. <laughs> I, I meant to say, <laughs> I meant to say 1,500 people. We haven't run a workshop to 150,000 people. Well, in this video, you're gonna get a glimpse behind the scenes at AJ and Smart. You're gonna see one of AJ and Smart's employees coaching, mentoring someone in our workshop or master program and telling them how to run a large scale workshop. So what you're gonna be seeing is a Zoom call from the actual coaching session and I'll be back at the end to say goodbye. All right, enjoy. My question is uh, about, um, um... I've been invited to run a workshop for a big group. And it's like uh, trying to, how do you call it, boiling the ocean, right? So oh. it is like nearly 30 people invited. There is a good intention to uh, determine a strategy for, for data for the next couple of years, etc. But what I am fearing is that 30 people is too much, right? So. So I'm structuring the, the workshop based on the uh, on the uh, strategy signal. Hmm? But I wonder if you have any experience, any recommendation about about how to handle such a big group as yeah. opposed to smaller, smaller yeah, group. Yeah, sure. Uh, so you could go one of uh, two ways. Uh, either you keep it as one big group, but obviously you need to really manage the time that for, for discussion because you can't go around the room and ask everyone to discuss. Sequentially, that would be too slow. Uh, the other one would be to break them up into smaller groups, right? So this is more about kind of setting, like coming up with lots of ideas and strategy and excitement and inspiration. You could break the room up to into like six groups of five uh, or something like that. And you have things going happening in parallel, right? So different sets of ideations, different discussions, and then you could have one person from each group come up and share the progress of that group. Um, and that tends to work really well when you're trying to get people to ideate on something, to think outside of the box, and they could have a lot of discussions um, in, in each of the groups isolated from each other so not everyone is like immediately contaminated as soon as like one good idea is shared so that tends to work well uh, the other way would be to try to handle it as a as a big group but then uh, you would be cutting down it is kind of a simpler setup but you would be uh, losing out on the discussion because you can't have everyone talk in a session like that yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about having these breakout rooms, especially for the lightning demos and the concept creation. Right. right? Yeah, for that, sure. Yeah, I think that 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 could be really, really good. Yeah, but uh, but I can let you know that we've run um, these workshops with like fifty people, um, even more, and they work really fine. Like, don't don't be worried about kind of the the size of it. Uh, we've tested them, I think, at even like 100 and up to 200 people. But in those cases, we always have people just like working on like a table level, right? Like five people at a time and things like that. And just having the, the conversations um, like locally in each breakout room or in each group. Great. Great. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, I hope you liked that video with Amr doing some coaching on how to run a large scale workshop. If you enjoyed that, if that was useful for you, or if you wanna see inside more of these coaching sessions, down below there's a link to a free training. It's one hour long. It will give you a good behind the scenes of what's happening in that program. And also just give you some tips on how to be a high day rate facilitator. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit subscribe. If you like these types of videos, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for your time. Have a great day. Bye.